my name is Taha Jiwazi. Uh, I'm the founder of Beam. Uh, Beam is a mobile communication service provider or a cloud communication provider. Uh, we work with companies or businesses to enable them to interact and to transact with their customers via mobile communication channels like SMS, USSD, um, airtime, mobile payments, and chatbots on WhatsApp. Um, we've been around for quite a few years. Uh, we've been around since 2012. Um, and our main office is based uh, is in the city center uh, on Zanaki Street. Uh, but we work across a number of countries across Africa. Um, so Beam has grown very organically uh, over the last, uh, or over our history. Uh, we haven't raised any external funding. Uh, it started with basically personal uh, family savings that uh, we'd kind of accumulated through my previous job. Uh, and those were invested in, into developing the platform. Uh, so Beam's uh, products or solutions are kind of uh, split into two things. Uh, one is Beam Engage, which is our self-service uh, platform or portal where a business that is not tech enabled uh, can come in and use our services uh, on a self-service basis. They log in, they uh, manage their contacts, they can set up the campaigns. Uh, and do this all themselves on the portal. We work with um, large or medium-sized um, SMEs or, or, or businesses that have that are consumer-facing and have a large uh, number of customers. You know, 500, 1,000 customers that they need to serve uh, or support uh, or sell to or communicate to. Um, but our kind of range of customers is very broad. Uh, it ranges from banks, you know, on the, on the larger side, uh, all the way to, you know, small uh, church and mosque groups who just need to send out messages. A couple of other companies that provide, let's say, messaging services. Uh, but I think we, we've differentiated ourselves in the sense that we've managed to bring all of these communication channels onto one platform. Uh, which is which is pretty unique. Uh, the other unique proposition we have to, for companies is that because we're working across about 20 countries at the moment with mobile operators, we're able to deliver all these communication services across multiple countries. So they can come to one place and you know be able to use the same API and the same portal to deliver or serve their customers across multiple. I think our biggest Probably our biggest accomplishment um, since we've grown is being able to grow outside Tanzania um, and, and then being able to replicate that across multiple countries. So I think the first country we went to was, I think, Burundi, uh, where we started working with a mobile operator there. Yeah, I think I'm pretty optimistic. I think in the, in the sense of, I think there's a lot of potential uh, across our markets to continue to serve customers because globally and locally, um, the way trends are going, that all businesses have to leverage technology um, and in order to survive. Uh, so the advice I would give to, uh, to young people who are maybe running tech startups or trying to grow their, their technology business is, a, um, you need to keep at it. It takes a long time uh, for a business to mature, uh, especially in a, in a tough environment like Tanzania. It takes time for business to mature and for, for you to find a product market fit. Um, the other thing I would also recommend, is, I think Media Convergence is an initiative to raise awareness and kind of educate uh, the public, but also the community about some of the challenges that uh, technology businesses and entrepreneurs in general face uh, is a great initiative. And I, I think I, hopefully people uh, gain something out of this.